scenario. Watch what he says. As many as I love, I do what? I do what? I do, I rebuke, that's with words, and I do what? How many know you how many know you chasing somebody that's physical? Mm-hmm. You, you know, you tell yourself, I'm gonna chase in you. Well, when you chase somebody, you get physical. When you rebuke them, you do it with your words. So the Lord said, if I love you, if I love you, I'm gonna speak words to you of you, and I'm gonna chase in you. As many as I love, I rebuke with my words and I chase it. I'm going to let stuff come upon you Amen. to tur- turn you from where you are. Yes. Right. Yes. Let me ask you a question. Could it be that the reason the church is going through so much stuff right now is because the Lord is chasing us and we don't even know it? Yeah. Could it be that we're calling it the devil and it's God? Amen. Let me show you how you would know. Check, check your walk with God. If you like the church that lay on the seal, you lukewarm. The Bible tells us what God does for those that He loves. He says, I rebuke and I chasten them. Because they have lost their place in me. Amen. That's good, isn't that good? Yeah. As many as I love. I rebuke them and I chase them. Just like you would do your children. Right. Suppose your kids were really off track. And they were going into a direction that was going to add to their demise. What would you do? Amen. You would talk to them, and if that didn't work, you would you would get physical with them. Right. Watch what he said. Something I love. God is so smart, man. It's just God is so wise. It's just, it's just, it's just crazy. God is something else, man. I'm telling you, God is something else. Really, God is just He's something else. Watch what He said. Watch what He said. Listen, listen to His words. As many as I love. I rebuke and I chase it. Look at the next two words. What it says, be what? Yeah. That means get your passion back. Yeah. <laughs> he says, get your passion back. We know that according to the preceding verses, they have lost their passion because they're lukewarm. Right. He says, be zealous. Let me ask you a question. How many of you guys feel like we can be more zealous to our God? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Jesus made this statement. He said, the zeal of the Lord's house has eaten me up. In other words, man, that's such a passion in me. I'm consumed by the passion of the kingdom. I'm consumed with it. I live it. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you our problem. I'm going to tell you our problem, y'all. Y'all look at this straight up. Our problem is we don't have the necessary zeal to be what God wants us to be. Amen. Jesus literally ate, drank, and slept the kingdom. Yes. Amen. He ate it, drank it, and slept it. He lived for it. Yes. Paul the apostle ate, drank, and slept the kingdom. He ate and drank and slept it to the degree that when he appeared before Agrippa and Festus and Felix at the end of the book of the Acts of the Apostles as he was giving his testimony they're about to lose his life. Come on. He was there to lose his life. He was there as to possibly lose his life. He was a prisoner. Instead of trying to, 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 to uh, broker his release you know what Paul started doing? He started giving his testimony. He started telling them, oh, Agrippa, I was on the road to Damascus. I had letters from the chief priest to bring anybody that called on the name of the Lord bound and put him in prison. But at noonday, I saw a light. Heaven. A brighter than the noonday sun. And I heard a voice speaking to me in the Hebrew language saying, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? It's hard for thee to kick against the prince. I said, who art my Lord? And the voice 
said, I'm Jesus, whom thou persecuted. He said, I wasn't disobedient to the heavenly vision. <laughs> now, therefore, having obtained help from God, I continue to this day. And he starts saying, man, he said, Agrippa, I know you believe. 